Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily and welcome to Favorite Daughter Emily. Starting on December 1st of 2018, I decided to start the 30 day minimalism game or minimalism challenge. I think it's called minimalism game. I want to say that this was started by The Minimalists. I believe their names are Josh and Ryan. I will leave their YouTube channel down below. And in the game, you're supposed to really partner up with somebody and then get rid of your items. The game works like this. On day one, you get rid of one item. On day two, two items. Day three, three items, and so on and so forth. And the whole idea is to get rid of things in your life that no longer add value to your life or bring you joy or are maybe broken or just things that you don't like anymore. So let's get to why I decided to do this. Over Thanksgiving break, well, when I say Thanksgiving break, I really mean like my four day weekend. I was so anxiety ridden, and this is something I don't really talk about on my channel, but I was so incredibly anxiety ridden and I just couldn't wrap my head around a lot of things and I couldn't handle the stuff anymore. It was just really bogging down my life and I felt like it was time for a purge of the things. And I just, I am a tosser of things. So getting rid of things is not a big challenge for me. It's just more of like, how do I start? How do I get motivated? What can I part with? And that was kind of my biggest challenge as to how to get started. And I went on to YouTube and I was looking up like decluttering videos and things like that. And then I came across The Minimalist as well as uh, Matthew or Matt Diavella. I will link his channel down below as well. And I just got into this vortex of minimalism. And I am not a minimalist by any means, but I think really thinking about your items that you either bring into your home or keep in your home is a really, really great tool and a great thing to keep in mind for myself, at least moving forward. There were so many items in my home that did not bring me any value, did not bring me any joy, serve no function. And I really just got bogged down by the chaos of the stuff. And I'm sure a lot of you out there feel that way. And this is just my own journey. So over the course of the 31 days, I did it for 31 days instead of 30 because December has 31 days. I got rid of over 500 items in my home. And it sounds like a lot, but I have more to go. <laughs> I gotta say like day one through day about 14, 15 was okay. And then once you hit kind of the middle of the month, you're like, whoa, I am really looking for stuff. Like I need to find more things. And the thing is I had more things, but it was just about making those choices. I got rid of things like jewelry, planning items. I got rid of some old bedding that I had no use for anymore. I don't even have the bed anymore. Why was I keeping them? I don't know. Uh, kitchenware items, makeup, light bulbs for lights I no longer had. Why I had those lights, I don't know. I also got rid of some hangers and the most random thing, Taco Bell sauce packets. Yep, I got rid of Taco Bell sauce packets. Who knows how long they've been sitting in my junk drawer. I have no idea. And I figured, you know what? It's time to get rid of those. So without further ado, let me show you exactly what I got rid of right now. And I'll come back at the end and talk to you a little bit more. So here is my December 2018 31 day minimalism game. Enjoy. So it is day one of the minimalism challenge. I'll be getting rid of this huge bag of plastic bags. My mom actually collects these and makes them into plastic sleeping mats for the homeless in Florida. So I'm gonna be dropping them off at her house. It is day number two and I'm getting rid of these two hangers I never use. Day three, three cosmetic pouches. Day four are two hair ties and two lip balms. Day five is five writing utensils. Day six is six notepads. All right, on day seven, I am getting rid of four plastic containers, two little shaker things, and then all of these baking cups. On day eight, I am getting rid of a mug, a wipe, lip balm, a bag of bags, two sticky notepads, and two felt pads. This is day nine. There's actually 49 of these, but we're just gonna count this as nine. All right, it is day 10. I am getting rid of six books, a pear, which is wooden, a candle, a doorstop, and a galvanized E. 
Day 11 is clearing out light bulbs that I no longer have light fixtures for. All right, day 12 is kind of a hodgepodge of things. This is an empty soap refill. I've got these two wipes I've never ever used. I've got this, this is from the previous owner um, and I've never used them, so it's time to go. I've got a random water testing thing, a reusable bag, a little pouch, another hair tie, a phone case I'll never use again, two rags, and then another pouch. Day 13 is 13 makeup brushes. Day 14 is 10 makeup brushes, two eye makeup removers, and two bins. All right, so this is day 15. It is a hodgepodge of things, including some planner items, some laundry items, and I found two more light bulbs that need to go away. For day 16, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, and I am gonna be returning all of these items to Michael's. So day 16 is a bunch of organizers. All right, so day 17 is still a bunch of planner things, and then also some paper napkins, paper plates, and some stir sticks that I've never used. All right, so this is my day 18. I've got two sets of plates here, two sets of plates here, four sets of napkins, two sets of straws, and a ton of paper plates. I don't need this much stuff, y'all. I just don't need this much stuff. All right, so here's day 19 with a doyle. <laughs> Um, I've got two box lids randomly, a bunch of like these little gift wrapping pouches, some office-y things. I've got this like elastic cord I've never used, some stickers, old business cards, some rings, and then also these like a random bag with a bag in it. So this is day 19. So here is day 20. I have a bunch of earrings and a lot of rings. All right, on day 21, I have a bunch of jewelry, some random things from the closet. This is a jewelry roll organizer and a plastic bin. Okay, for day 22, I've got five pillowcases, one sheet, some storage items, some random poster tack that doesn't work very well, a purse, a wallet, a bunch of dental items, and then two containers. Okay, so here is day 23. I've got three pillows, two blankets, a bathroom rug, a little ring holder, and then I've got a whole, all the rest are gonna be all of these containers right here. And Doyle is very fascinated by what's going on on the floor. So that is day 23. All right, so day 24 is here. I've got five bowls, a bunch of disposable plastic cutlery I got from the dollar store, an egg timer, a bunch of straws, a paring knife, and a coaster that's seen better days. It's day 25, and I actually scoured my vehicle for the majority of these things. Lots of pens, sunglasses, expired things, and that's day 25. So here is day 26, some office-y kind of things, some random gifts that I never actually sent, and a bunch of um, planner covers that I'm just no longer into. I've weeded down my collection considerably, so these are gonna go to a new home. That's it for day 26. So here is day 27. I've got a storage bin, a file cabinet I never ended up using, a bunch of planning things, two pads of paper, and some other clips that were kind of in my office or planning things. So it feels so good to get rid of this stuff, you guys. It feels amazing. This is day 28, and isn't this an oxymoron? Collect moments, not things. I got this before I moved into this house and I still have never put it up, so it's gotta go. I've got some random household things, more office-y things, some holiday stuff, and some things Doyle does not gravitate towards playing with any longer. So this is day 28. So this is day 29. This is all paperwork that I do not need, and it's way more than 29 pieces of paper, but we're gonna call this good at day 29. This is day 30 with a whole bunch of hangers, five gift labels, some planner clips, and a pouch. I'm almost done, you guys. I'm almost done. On day 31, I decided to get rid of 31 of these hangers. There's no reason I need 31 of these extra hangers in my closet, so these are going goodbye, and I am done with the minimalist challenge. Oh, it's so exciting. All right, y'all, this is the massive pile of stuff that is leaving my home very, very soon. I am so excited to get this out of here. More than 500 items I decluttered from my home. And the crazy thing is, is I'm not gonna miss any of this stuff. Okay, so that is it. Over 500 items I got rid of in my home. I feel so much 
lighter and my mind feels more relaxed now. But like I said before, I still have more work to do. So I am going to challenge you out there. Today is January 1 when you guys are seeing this. It's actually January 1 when I am filming this as well because I never got around to it. I am also going to be doing a 30 day or actually it's going to be a 31 day January minimalism game. If you guys would like to join, feel free. I will have a video up at the very end end of January or very beginning of February. I'm not sure if it's going to be January 31st or February 1st that that will be up, but it will go up for some inspiration for you guys. If you want to see more, I know that the minimalists use the hashtag mins game, M-I-N-S game. So if you want to search that hashtag on Instagram, you can get some more inspiration as to what other people are getting rid of in their lives and things that just don't serve them anymore or add value to their life. But I highly encourage you guys to partner up or do it on your own because I'm going to be doing it for January and I'm really, really excited about it. And if you do the challenge, make sure to tag me on Instagram and I can't wait to share my next month's journey with you guys. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me baby. Yeah.